very, very excited to let you know that we will be launching Ford Pass at the end of this month. It's based off of personal, physical, and digital solutions, which allow our customers the option to go, for, go further with life. We're reimagining the relationship between automakers and car owners. At Ford Motor Company with Ford Pass, we're actually aiming to do what iTunes has done with music lovers. We're aiming to do that with our car owners. So, Ford Pass, you see, is built on four different pillars. We have the Ford Marketplace, Ford Guides, Ford Appreciation, and Ford Hubs. We'll start with Ford Marketplace. We're offering solutions that are going to help people move from point A to point B. One of those in general is our park solution. Whether you're driving to work every day or going downtown to an event, we're going to offer you that solution right in the palm of your hand to help find that parking spot for the right price and at the right time, all when you need it, where you need it, and when you need it. With Ford Appreciation, we're actually partnering with many of our um, other areas such as BP, Spotify, McDonald's, and 7-Eleven. We're going to be rewarding our members for using Ford Pass. This is something that's new and we're very excited to announce it. Ford Guides, at the touch of your fingertips, you'll have savvy Ford Guides to help you with all of your mobile needs. The Ford Hubs, these are urban centers where people can go in and visit all of our innovation labs and see what Ford is doing as it relates to some of our mobility solutions. Why Sync Connect? Why Ford Pass? Well, as we stated, we're looking at the ability to make people's lives easier. It's all about creating and improving that consumer experience. What we're really looking at doing, Ford's been watching trends and shifts in our consumer behaviors. We know that if you create a great consumer experience, that'll also help increase the loyalty which brings more of our consumers back to the brand. And that's what we're here to do today. Show you exactly how easy it is to use Ford Pass and how it relates to our new Ford Escape. How do we keep our customers connected and make their lives easier? How do you get Ford Pass? You actually just go to either the Google Play or to Apple App Store. It's free to everyone. You don't even have to own a Ford vehicle. Ford Pass will offer solutions that will help you get around town whether you own a Ford vehicle or not. As I said, it's free to everyone. Go to the store, we can download it, and that begins at the end of this month. How we stay connected, as Kate mentioned, with the 2017 Ford Escape, those with Sync Connect, once we have that activated, will allow you to lock, unlock, start, schedule those remote starts, and look at your vehicle health status. You'll always see your fuel level so you know before you leave the house. Do I need to stop at the gas station to get fuel to complete my journey as I'm moving? We also will be able, coming soon then, increasing the vehicle health status. Checking your fuel gauge, or I'm sorry, checking your tire pressure, your oil levels, as well as your battery charge levels. We'll be rolling some of those out at future releases. So now, I'd like to take the opportunity to show you a little bit about Ford Pass and how we're going to make it work for you. Down there? There we go. Once you've downloaded Ford Pass, you can see that this is our dashboard that we have listed here. You'll see the vehicle controls, the My Vehicles, My Dealer, Park, and Ford Credit. Up in the corner, you'll see easy access to roadside assistance, always at your fingertips, always available and ready to help you in any of your needs. What we have along the bottom is a messages center, our guides button, again, clearly labeled, easy to use, right at the tip of your fingertips, and your account. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the vehicle controls because this is one of the options that you have once you own a Ford Escape. As you can see, we do have a pin that's in there to help increase our safety and security for all of our owners. Once we've actually gone in, this is this, you'll see, the main screen for the vehicle controls. Here's where we're providing the gauge for the fuel, the ability to lock and unlock. It has a simple press and hold. You have the ability to press and refresh. You'll see that this 
status was updated as of 9.50 today. And as it's uh, going through, actually the way it's working is it's going through the app, through the cell towers, towers up to the clouds, and then back down through and coming and talking to the vehicle. We have a button for location. I'll show you what the map looks like. Here's a time clock for the ability to schedule your remote start, as well as, again, simple to use, easy guides right here, right on the home screen, right on the tail bar again. Once that message comes back, you'll see it, the success message that the vehicle has started. We also show that you can extend that remote start. So if we have in, your, in one of those colder or warmer climates, there we go, you have the ability to increase that. If it's a particularly cold day or a particularly hot day, and you've set your climate control within your vehicle at the temperature in which you want, so it's all in the control that you want to come, you can easily go ahead and hit the plus 10 minutes and it'll add it there. So you have the ability to extend that remote start. I'm going to shut this off just so I can go ahead and show you a few more of the features that we have here. As we stated, once you've authorized your location, right through your app, just as you normal would, turn on your location services, you'll see the green area. Actually, it's right on top of each other, so let me see if I can move away a little bit. But it shows the phone's location as well as the vehicle's location on there. The remote starts, as we discussed on here as well. It's an easy toggle on, toggle off. If you need to make any changes to those, it's a simple roller dial, just as with a lot of the existing iOS functionality. You can have it repeat, so you have the days of the week. Maybe I'm only uh, working Monday, Thursday, and Friday of next week, so I only wanted to start then. Simple buttons allow very intuitive design. We don't feel we need a huge guidebook to go ahead and explain everything that the consumers are going to need to make this work and work for them. Again, really going back and saying, we really are trying to make our consumers' lives easier by helping them through their everyday situations. The guys, you'll see in here, real friendly humans at the touch of your fingertips. We have the ability to speak with them by chat, by phone, even by email if they're not available. Walking through one other thing to help make your lives more convenient, as you add the vehicles to your garage, or your vehicle, you will see that we have listed in here, all at the palm of your hand, the touch of your fingertips, as soon as it comes back over, we'll see that we actually allow you the ability to choose a preferred dealer. So not only, not only are we going to allow the consumers to see their vehicle status, if they're getting any vehicle alerts, you know on the dashboard when you're seeing the instrument panel, Maybe you have a few different icons and you're not quite certain what they are. The app is going to help you with that. So all you do is scroll down and look at some vehicle support. You'll be able to see what does that icon mean? What are my next steps? What should I do? So you see, if I have a preferred dealer, I'm able to hit a button to schedule service right away. I can get directions to that dealership or I can call them to ask some questions if needed. As we go further down, you'll see that we have other vehicle details providing you your VIN, if you have the nickname of your vehicle, and further information there. Maintenance, schedule, service history, again, all of this powerful information right at the tip of your fingers, right in the palm of your hand. So the easy ability to add a vehicle, whether we can go ahead and show you there, scanning the VIN, or manually entering it. This is a carryover from our existing app on here, but we found the Scanning the VIN it makes it so much easier. The 17 digits we know are a lot to go in. But we also have easy to see, where do I find my VIN? So we really try to make it as easy as possible for our members. And again, we're very excited to say, Ford Pass is going here. It's going to be live at the end of this month. And we hope you find it useful on the 2017 Escape, but for all your vehicle needs as well.